At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to understand the price ceiling, apply the price ceiling in a real-world scenario, and analyze the consequences of the government in setting a price ceiling. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. It refers to the legal minimum or maximum prices set for specified goods. a. Price controls. b. Price floor. c. Price ceiling. d. None of the above. The answer is a. Price controls. 2. It refers to the maximum prices set by the government for products. a. Price controls. b. Price floor. c. Price ceiling. d. None of the above. The answer is c. Price ceiling. 3. This happens when the government imposed a price ceiling. a. Equilibrium. B. Shortage. C. Surplus. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Shortage. 4. This is where the price ceiling located in the graph. A. Above equilibrium point. B. Below equilibrium point. C. Parallel to the equilibrium point. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Below equilibrium point. 5. This happens when the price is not allowed to increase. A. The decrease in quantity demanded. B. Increase in quantity supplied. C. The new equilibrium price is formed. D. None of the above. The answer is C. The new equilibrium price is formed. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Discuss the similarities and differences in market shortage and market surplus. Previously, we discussed the causes of disequilibrium which are the market shortage and surplus. It happens because of the interaction of consumers and producers about the prices, and the existence of scarcity. Since our country runs a mixed economy, the government has a big role in attaining economic goals. Price stability is one of the goals that the government must achieve. When prices are stable in the market, both consumers and businesses enjoy their economic security. Government intervention is needed to ensure that market prices are stable. The supply and demand model shows how people and firms will react to the incentives that laws provide to control prices, in ways that will often lead to undesirable consequences. Many Filipinos are complaining about the high prices of commodities. Of course, they can't afford to buy their needs at higher prices. With this, the government intervene in the market prices to augment the social benefit of the people through price controls. Price controls are government-mandated legal minimum or maximum prices set for specified goods, most necessities. It is considered as a government policy to stabilize the market prices for the benefit of consumers. However, there are consequences of imposing these price controls. 
One of the price controls that the government may adopt is the price ceiling. Price ceiling is the maximum price that sellers need to impose on a certain product. It is located below the equilibrium price as shown in Figure 1. It shows that the market demand and supply of sandwiches with an equilibrium price of 20 pesos. Let's say the government forced to have a price ceiling in snacks and related products at 15 pesos, hence it is illegal to put higher prices above 15 pesos. With a price ceiling of 15 pesos, quantity demanded increases from 60 to 80 sandwiches while quantity supplied drops from 60 to 40 sandwiches. What will happen eventually? This will cause shortage since the suppliers are discouraged to produce more sandwiches with a lower price. Meanwhile, the consumers are willing to purchase more sandwiches at a lower price. In the Philippines, we have a government policy on rent control under Republic Act No. 9653. The Act focuses on the regulation of rent of certain residential units. Section 5 of the article states that all residential units in the National Capital Region and other highly urbanized cities, the total monthly rent for each of which ranges from 1 peso to 10,000 pesos and all residential units in all other areas, the total monthly rent for each of which ranges from 1 peso to 5,000 pesos. The graph shows the original supply and demand curves, S and D. You can see the original equilibrium point, 4,000 pesos, and 6,000 units. What do you think will be the effect of greater income or an increase in the preferences living in Metro Manila? An increase in the preferences living in Metro Manila would cause an increase in demand, causing the demand curve to shift to the right from D1 to D2. The new equilibrium point is 5,000 pesos and 8,000 units. Let's say, the price ceiling is set at 4,000 pesos by the government as shown on the graph by the horizontal dotted line. What is the new quantity demanded? The new quantity demanded is the quantity at the point at which the new demand curve and the price ceiling intersect, in the graph it is at 10,000 units. With the price ceiling in effect, the quantity supplied remains at the same 6,000 rental units, but the quantity demanded increases to 10,000 rental units. In other words, the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied, so there is a shortage of rental housing. This shortage is shown on the graph as the difference between the two vertical lines 10,000 units minus 6,000 units which is 4,000 units. In the graphs above, we saw what happens when a price ceiling for the rent is imposed to keep the price at the original equilibrium of 4,000 pesos for a typical apartment. The horizontal line at the price of 4,000 pesos shows the legally fixed maximum price set. At that price 4,000 pesos, the quantity supplied remains at the same 6,000 rental units, but the quantity demanded is 10,000 rental units. One of the ironies of price ceilings is that while the price ceiling was intended to help renters, there are fewer apartments rented out under the price ceiling, 6,000 rental units, than would be the case at the market rent of 5,000 pesos, 8,000 rental units. When a price ceiling is set below the equilibrium price, as in this example, it is considered a binding price ceiling, thereby resulting in a shortage. Price ceilings are suggested retail prices have been proposed for basic commodities like rice, cooking oil, medicines, and other necessities. Temporary price ceilings are evident during a state of emergencies and calamities. For your activity. Please read the directions. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is price control? 2. What is the price ceiling? 3. What will happen if the government sets a price ceiling on the basic commodities?
You may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide not to be reduced by them. Maya Angelou. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.